Hello everybody, welcome to another Nephilim build. Today we're going to fix our mommy issues with the whip as Richter Belmont from Castlevania Nocturne. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with the ability scores. Using the standard point array, we'll put the 15 to dexterity. This man could teach Trevor some tricks. After that's the 14 wisdom, you need good eyesight if you're gonna hunt at night. Up next is the 13 to constitution, vampire hunting is dangerous work. We'll put the 12 into strength, those muscles don't lie. We'll put the 10 to charisma and dump intelligence. We don't need either, but Richter is more charming than smart. For race, we're going to take variant human, putting our increases into dexterity and constitution. We'll also take the gift of the chromatic dragon feed for some early extra whip damage. If Baldur's Gate 3 has taught me anything, it's that those d4s add up. We'll also take acrobatics and speak common and primordial. We'll take the haunted one background, getting your mother killed will do that to you. We'll get heart of darkness, religion and survival, and speak deep speech and sylvan because yokai. Moving on to class, we're going to start off as a ranger. We'll get strength and dexterity saving throws, and pick athletics, investigation, and perception. We'll also be proficient with light and medium armor, shields, and all weapons. At level 1, we'll get favorite enemy picking undead, and get deft explorer picking survival for canny. We'll also pick infernal, abyssal, and celestial for languages. We're now going to multi-class to monk, getting martial arts and unarmored defense at level 1. At level 2, we'll get key, unarmored movement, and dedicated weapon. Whips might be finesse, but we also need them to be monk weapons. Back to ranger at level 2, we'll get our fighting style, taking dueling. We'll also take spells taking Hunter's Mark and Absorb Elements. And no, I won't be taking Searing Smite, I'm gonna have better ways of bringing the burn later. At level 3 we'll get Primeval Awareness and our Ranger Conclave taking Hunter. We will of course pick Colossus Slayer for our Hunter Spray. We'll also take Long Strider for some speed. At level 4 we'll take the Strixhaven Initiative feed, picking Prismari for Firebolt, Ray of Frost, and Ice Knife. Back to Monk, at level 3 we'll get Deflect Missiles in our Monastic Tradition. We'll take the Way of the Ascendant Dragon for Breath of the Dragon and Draconic Disciple. He can serve them hot, or he can serve them cold. But either way, he's serving them hands. At level 4, we'll get slow fall because what is fall damage and raise our wisdom. We're now going to motor class to light domain cleric. He might not worship God, but he's doing his work. At level 1, we'll get warding flare and the light cantrip. We'll also get the other cantrips taking guidance and resistance to fill the slots in sacred flame for some holy water. We'll automatically get burning hands and fairy fire, ignore the second. We'll also prepare for our other spells taking detect magic, detect evil and good, and protection from evil and good. We'll also take cure wounds to eat some wall chicken. At level 2, we'll get channel divinity turn undead and radiance of the dawn for grand cross. We'll also draw a blank. At level 3, we'll get Flaming Sphere and Scorching Ray. We'll also swap that blank for Spiritual Weapon for the Cross and take Hold Person for the Stopwatch. At level 4, we'll raise Wisdom, take Thaumaturgy for Effects, and take Enhanced Ability and Borrowed Knowledge. He's descended from a speaker, and his bestie's mom is a speaker. He's gonna learn a thing or two. Back to Ranger, at level 5, we'll get Extra Attack and take Jump to Jump Good. That joke is going to pay off someday when I do Samurai Jack. At level 6, we'll get Roving and pick Fiends for our new favorite enemy. We'll also speak Giant. Kind of blew our load on the languages that made sense already. At level 7, we'll pick multi-attack defense for our defensive tactics. We'll also take aid for some extra HP. At level 8, we'll get land stride and razor dexterity, and at level 9, we'll take elemental weapon. Fun fact, gift of the chromatic dragon doesn't make your weapon magical, nor does it take concentration, which means you can stack it with elemental weapon. And since we multi-class with cleric, we'll be able to upcast it later. Like I said, those d4s add up. At level 10, we'll get Nature's Veil and Tireless, and at level 11, we'll get Whirlwind Attack for our multi-attack. We'll also take Conjure Barrage for Thousand Edge. Lastly, at level 12, we'll cap our dexterity. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. For inventory, we'll take a whip and a few darts. Those are basically just for Conjure Barrage. We have way better ranged options. We'll also take an opponent pouch for spellcasting. Our AC with our normal defense is 18, our premium speed is 45, and our average HP is 156 with 88 and 12d10 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Now what can this build do? To start, we're racking up 44 plus 9 points of damage per hit with Spiritual Weapon as a bonus action and an extra D8 per turn. We've also got a few magical ranged and AoE options and enough mobility to effectively kite enemies. And since we've got 3 different elements to work with, more if you want to break character, we basically don't have to worry about resistances except in a few rare cases. For weaknesses, if you do face a monster with all 3 resistances or god forbid immunity, you're left with a piddly 1d4 from the whip. It really isn't a good weapon except in certain niche builds. It will also take us a couple of turns to set up our damage and we basically can only go all out once per day. Also, mind players are gonna fuck us up. Oh, and other than the cone attack, Ascendant Dragon really isn't doing anything for us besides flavor. If you're low enough on resources that you need to use your bonus action to punch, you're in trouble. Weaknesses aside, we'll be leaving our enemies in bloody tears. Shut up, I missed my chance at this pun with Alucard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. $1 a month gives you 2 day early access to my videos, a chance to vote for future characters, and access to all of my homebrew content. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next week when I make Jean d'Arc. No, not the fate version.